Welcome to Yacht Crew Vlogs, where we tell the stories of those in the yachting industry. A behind the scenes look that discovers the individuals in the industry, their history, their passions, and what inspires them to do what they do. Hi everyone and welcome to another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria, I am your host, and I'm very pleased to welcome Gerald Martin. He is uh, from St. Well, he's from St. Vincent, actually, in the Caribbean. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you well, doing? Good. Thank you. Well, now you are in, the, you know, you and your people and, and the island is in the middle of a volcano eruption. Um, and, and there's been a lot of tell, tell us what it's like there right now. Tell us what you're experiencing there right now. Well, what, what my friends and family are experiencing there right now, there's a um, there's lack of water and a lack of food right now. And there's a lot of people not willing to go by their house and they're in shelter sleeping on the floor. And is there so any aid coming that way? Or, or is anybody providing aid? Is there, is, is there no food and, and, and uh, water getting over there? What, why is this happening? Yeah, there's a there's, there's few aids coming that way, but most of the aids are from the bigger states like America and Europe. And, you know, those aids don't take months to get to St. Vincent, you know? So I'm trying to, there's, the, the well, Prime Minister of St. Martin, I think they send down some AIDS, Dominica, St. Kitts, St. Lucia, nearby countries, Grenada, they send AIDS. So I'm trying myself to organize AIDS as well. Well, we send, so, we send out some AIDS on um, Monday. Monday afternoon, Peter, Peter Hoof, he left with, with Dr. Moran from SXM Charters. Mm -hmm. So he gone there to be carry some aid. Shade when left on Saturday, they, they take some aid already. I think they reach Monday. So children is coming back this week. So we want to organize some aids for next week again. So, and they say that this volcano could continue erupting over the next six months. Now there are people that haven't left the island. Um, something to do with, with vaccinations and they're unable to leave the island? No, well, the people, they refuse to leave the island because when the Royal Caribbean cruise ship arrived on the Carnival cruise, like, the captains were willing to take the people to nearby islands and seek, seek some um, refugee or something for the meantime until the country catch back itself. But then the Prime Minister of St. Vincent, he's so stuck in his mean ways, he's forcing everyone to take the vaccination before they go on the ships. So people refuse to leave because people don't want to take the vaccine. So it became political. Yeah, it can be political. Yeah, exactly. And not a good time for it to become political. So no. the people out there, if, if there's people out there that really want to do their part and want to help out, what type of aid are you looking for? What what type of things do you need? And, and do you need manpower? Do you need, you know, perhaps yachts to, to help deliver? What do you need? Well, to be honest, right now, we don't need manpower because we don't know the state of the volcano. We don't know how long it's going to take to Europe. And then so... The manpower right now is coming from St. Vincent, like on the houses, people will just push off the, the ash off the house for now. But now we don't really have a, a cleanup group as yet because we don't know when this thing's going to end. And um, for right now, I'm looking at trying to get some air beds, you know, to the shelters and stuff like that. So I have a GoFundMe page, but things are moving kind of slow. And I think, I think a lot of water. And food can food is very needed because the water is contaminated. Because where the water catchments are in St. Vincent is like big open catchments, concrete catchments. So if if the ash goes up into the air, it'll fall right into the catchments. Yeah. So people can drink that water. Yeah. So, so that's the situation right now. So definitely water, food, and perhaps bedding and, and the camp beds, etc. Things that that just basic necessities for, for human life. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I, some stuff for the kids too, because there's a lot of people in the shelters that have a lot of children, you know, and then, you know, poor families, they go about their life living today for today because of the economy. So now they are stuck in a shelter. They are not able to go out and walk and, you know, have the money to buy like pampers, diaper, baby foods and stuff like that, you know, and you know, a baby always needs milk. So, yeah. So not only was St. Vincent being hit hard as a result of the pandemic for the past year, now the volcano, and it's just taken things to another level entirely. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's taking it to a total toll, you know? And then the hurricane season is 
slowly creeping up on us, you know? Yeah. So that's the situation right now because the schools was, was to be open on Monday, but everything is pushed back. They don't know when the school is going to be open. They don't know nothing right now. Yeah. So it's like a total disaster. Well, you know what? What we're going to do is make sure that we provide all of your information. If people want to get a hold of you, um, I do know that you have a GoFundMe page. We will provide that link. But if somebody wants to contact you, for example, to see if there's something else that they could do to help, um, we'll make sure to give them, say, an email address, perhaps. Yeah, I have, I have my email. Now I can, you can give them my WhatsApp number also. You can contact me on WhatsApp anytime. Perfect. Well, anytime. Yeah. We will get those details from you and we will make sure to provide them underneath this interview when it airs. Um, and I would definitely encourage people to get in touch with Gerald and, and see what, what it is that you can do. I mean, you know, there's a lot of really big yachting companies out there that have made use of the area in the Caribbean and St. Vincent itself uh, in the past and, and, you know, enjoyed the beauty of everything that the Caribbean has to offer. And I think in a situation like this, it's always nice to be able to give back and, you know, perhaps some camp beds and sleeping bags and cash so that you could even just purchase that yourself on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's a big distiller in, um, in St. Martin here, Corsiles. They sell, sell um, the A beds and stuff like that, you know. Maybe if you sell good size A beds, maybe a few individuals, like, save, like, like you have families in the shelters. Instead of sending one A bed for one per, per person, you can send one and at least a mother and a, a two young child can sleep on one, you know? So then yeah. it will be less A beds, you know? Yeah. So stuff yeah. like that I'm looking into. Perfect. Well, Gerald, I thank you ever so much for your time. I know you just got off work and, and uh, now you're going about I, doing your, your I'm other work. Still work. <laughs> yeah. I just finished doing some varnishing. <laughs> well, it looks yeah. beautiful. You've done a fine job. I, I'm sure yeah, anybody yeah, looking yeah. at that is going to say, well, you can come work on my yacht anytime. Oh, that's nice. That would be a pleasure. Right now, I'm looking to go into Europe right now. <laughs> Gerald, thank you for your time. And, and uh, like I said, we will make sure to provide all of the information below this interview when it airs. You've been watching another edition of Yacht Crew Vlogs right here on Yachting International Radio. My name is Ria. I have been your host. We'll see you again next time. Bye.